The show you're about to see combines for the first time live performers with a variety of technically sophisticated medias to create a very special kind of fun. SeaWorld is proud to present The Undersea Fantasy. one of these days. Well, you gave me quite a scare. I scared you? Oh, my dear, when I first noticed you, I thought you were the monster. <laughs> but that's impossible. Uh, now then, I believe introductions are in order. My name is Arthur C. Turtle. How do you do, Mr. Turtle? My name is Lindy. Boy, it sure is weird down here. Oh, it's not so strange once you get to know it. Allow me to take this opportunity to welcome you to the Coral Reef, where everything is wonderful and we all live in peace, love, and harmony. The Coral Reef, huh? Well, I thought these were just a bunch of rocks and plants and things. I beg your pardon? It's a monster! <laughs> <laughs> That's not a monster. That's Mr. Coral. There's obviously a great deal of things you just don't know about. I guess you're right. <clears throat> Mr. Coral, I think Lindy here needs a little lesson. Why, sure. Coral is not a rock. Coral is not a plant. Coral is more than what you see, it's a plant community. It's a plant community. 
Well, there's little tiny creatures in the deep blue sea, and polyps are their names. They're the architects of the coral reef. Construction is their game. The polyps live on the ocean floor with just one thing in mind, to build an undersea wonderland with a great design. So you see, naturally, they're the builders of the sea. When the polyps build the coral reef, they start with only one. They multiply and say goodbye and leave their skeleton. They leave their skeleton? Yes, they leave their skeleton, you see, to build a polyp colony. They do it oh so skillfully and sometimes microscopically. Sometimes microscopically. Building ever higher. Never seem to tire. Will they ever stop? They got their wishes. They love their coral reef. The coral reef. It's the coral reef. All the crabs and the eels know how it feels. They love that coral reef. Just the polyps. We never will regret it. We decided to supplant it. We're taking a second development. Well, how many kinds of coral are there? You see, there's staghorn, there's elkhorn, there's lettuce and leaf. Just some of the coral that make up the reef. There's pillar and cactus, and some look like grains. There's all kinds of coral with all different names. Sex coral, octa coral, hydro coral, star, black coral, organ pipe. We're in it through before. The store coral, style coral, stony coral, fan. Better catch your breath, cause here we go again. Mushroom finger bubble spaghetti. Stop! Spaghetti? Well, we're working on it. But just remember how it all began a long, long time ago With one little polyp who had a plan and made the whole thing grow To the coral reef, the coral reef That one little guy, he built it high and made our coral reef Everybody! Coral reef, happy we can make it The coral reef, be careful not to break it The place to be at the bottom of the sea, we love our coral reef It's a beautiful place to live, at least when the monster's not around. The monster? Shh. Oh. Haven't you ever been afraid of something? Well, my science project. Science project? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gracious. Oh, my... What's a science project? Well, Mr. Turtle... I, I mean, uh, does it look like ours? What does your monster look like? Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it's hideous. <laughs> it's... Pum, pum, pum. It's over there. Come on. <laughs> Are you the monster? Monster? <laughs> oh, me? Why, of course not. I'm Sir Winston Horace, at your service. And, uh, who might you be? My name is Lindy. You're not going to eat us, are you? <laughs> eat you? <laughs> Nonsense. Why, I eat fish. Well, if you eat fish, what do the fish eat? They eat little fish. Well, I don't think I understand. Don't fret, my dear. We'll explain it to you. Right, Arthur? Certainly. If you want to know the way the ocean creatures find a meal, listen very closely to what I will reveal. There is a simple formula that everyone should know. We call it the food chain, and this is how it goes. Your turn, Arthur. Thank you. 
there's a pasture in the ocean made up of little plants. But you can barely see them, for they're tinier than ants. They're floating very peaceful when shrimp should come along and... Gulp. He eats them, then the plants are gone. <laughs> <laughs> a happy little shrimp is swimming boldly in the sea. He's filled himself with little plants, he's happy as can be. Little does he realize a herring's on its way, and Gulp. he nabbed him no more shrimp today. <laughs> <laughs> he nabbed the shrimp who ate the plants, but that's not where it ends. The cycle of the food chain starts all over again. Now our Mr. Herring is feeling very fine. He has no way of knowing, <laughs> but he's the next in line. He's not afraid of tuna, but if he turns his back, oh no! Oh, he gulped him, what a tasty snack. <laughs> <laughs> he gulped the herring and down the shrimp, ate the plants and then the cycle of the food chain starts all over again. It's a tasty fish enjoyed by you and me. You put them all in little cans in a tuna factory. But Mr. Barracuda has a different plan. And gulp, he caught him. He'll never reach the can. <laughs> <laughs> See the Barracuda, so fearsome and so grim. Hardly any of the other fishes pick on him. But there is something hungrier lurking in the dark. Oh, no! He gobbled him, now he's in a shark. A shark? Yes! <laughs> he gobbled the cooter who caught the tuna, who caught the herring, who nabbed the shrimp, who ate the plants. And then, the cycle of the food chain starts all over again. All right, everyone, all together now. <laughs> and as for Mr. Great White Shark, a killer he's no more. His life has reached its final day as he sinks down to the floor. And while he melts into the sea, some chemicals mix by chance. Then float up to the surface as food for little plants. So you see, the way we find our food is not just hit or miss. It's very carefully organized, and the formula is this. We're all important links upon a chain that never ends. We're part of the food chain. The wonderful food chain. The food chain that starts all over again. <laughs> What's that? It's, it's the, the monster! monster. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. What did we tell you? Isn't it horrible? I'll say. It's even scarier than my science project. Sure is lucky you two can swim away so fast. <laughs> it's the only way to navigate properly here in the ocean. Well, who can teach me how to swim? Well, the best swimmer around is Opie Otter. He teaches everyone. Opie Otter? Who's he? <laughs> Swim, do the swim. Some use a flipper, some use a fin. It all depends on the shape you're in. Come on, swim. Do the swim. In the water, swim. Do the swim. It don't matter how you go, if you're back, so just swim. Do the swim. Come on, everybody. I'll show you how it's done. There's all kinds of swimming, and all of them are fun. And it will propel you. Come on and swim. Come on, swim. The fish is a whim. You give a little swish, just like you were a fish. And swim. Here's another one. Move a few steps forward, and then back up once again. Now you're doing the jump fish. Come on, do it. I know you can. He can go straight ahead, or he can back up. Here I'm both ways, and his mind's made up. That's the jawfish. Do the jawfish. Do the jawfish. Hey, what's 
the hand is looking worse. He just puts it in reverse. That's the dogfish. Take it, percussion. It's electrifying. Here we go, children. Now put your two hands forward. Like they were a tail. Move them up and down. Call me Opie. You catch on pretty quick, little lady. Why, soon you'll be able to outswim just about anything. Even the monster? Shh, he might be around. How can you tell? <laughs> Elementary, my dear Lindy. <laughs> uh, tell her, Opie. Well, you can always tell when the monster's around because you hear a kind of low hum. Yeah, kind of like that. Then you hear this echoey sound. Like that? Yeah, that's it. Then when it gets real dark, that's when you know it's... The Monster! A submarine? Oh, what's it doing down here? Well, don't you see? It's doing the same thing I am. It's learning. There's so much here that I didn't know about, and I'm learning more all the time. People want to learn more about the ocean. It's a new world. It's a new frontier. <laughs>
trouble with my science project now. Because once you understand about something, it's not so scary after all. Goodbye, Opie. Thanks for teaching me how to swim. <laughs> Sir Winston, I'll remember everything about the food chain. And if it weren't for you, Mr. Turtle, I'd still be scared of the ocean. I sure hate to leave you all, but somehow I know I'll see you again real soon. Goodbye. Oh, bye.
What? 